back like we never left. It's video with a live reaction to The Boxer. This week, reading chapters 93 to 95, so let's see what's cracking. The Boxer, chapter 93. Let's go. We see our boy, Marco, stunned. Jay, perked up. D -d 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 Down! Oh, shit. Down! Jay knocked Fabrizio Santorino. Down, right out the gate. He's really sharpened his sword to win the right to a title match against you. One, two. Let me see. God damn, onward. Let me see. Fabrizio on the ground, eyes barely open. He goes, yo, what just happened, bro? Did I get knocked down? I have to give up. Five, six, damn it. He went in for a, damn. He went in for a surprise attack right from the start. He's never done that before. We fell right into his trap, Marco says, damn. Nine, let me see, Urgh. Fabricio gets back up at nine, bro, Ugh. hobbled. Jay just smiles, whew, that woke me up. That old man really plans on winning, of course, and Jay looks back like, yeah, boy, what's good? Bucks, but I have no intention of letting you go. Fabricio has recovered from the startling first knockdown of the match. As if to prove there was no damage, he's going hard on Jay. Hey, yo, pause. <laughs> You've got another thing coming if you think I'm the same old Fabricio. Let me see. He, bing, Fabricio throwing the hands at Jay, bro. He, boom. He's trying to hit him with a kidney shot. Jay kind of blocks it. Boom. Jay. Nice. Attaboy. Surprising. Jay doesn't have a specific style of boxing. In some matches, he's an outboxer, in others, an inboxer, and sometimes he's a brutal slugger. Brutal slugger, excuse me. He doesn't have any habits to speak of either. I've watched all of his matches dozens of times, but in the end, I couldn't find a single one. That's why it was pretty much impossible to prepare a strategy tailored to Jay, meaning there's only one thing we can do. Go at him with all we've got. And we see them, boom, clashing, these two. Fabrizio J fight it out. The Santorino brothers' box office power has definitely dwindled. But their abilities have become something else. Each had, a, each had the skill of half a boxer. The older brother had a brilliant mind. The younger brother had remarkable physical ability. They could never be the best. However... If they combine their skills, the sky is their limit. And we see them reaching towards the, towards the belt. They abandon entertainment and foul play for blood, sweat, and tears. The older brother sets up a boxing strategy for the younger brother and passed on the know-how of, of his techniques. In addition to honing his existing rough style, the younger brother had been diligently learning about boxing as a sport. They know they are no longer incomplete boxers. I really like this for the brothers, bro. I really like where the brothers have, have started and ended up. Now that they've abandoned their like foul play and stuff, I really like their story. Them being two halves of a championship boxer and then them working together to achieve that together as fam. I love that shit, bro. They are champions worthy of the title, yup. Yeah? We see him, boom, we see Fabricio just knocks Jay right in the head. Hmm? I'm proud of who you've become, Marco Santorino and Fabricio Santorino. See, he's hmm. so damn, that's crazy. Jay just smiles, takes a step back. We see him, huh? And all you see is, boom! He lands a mean left hook to the body, bruh. He just got hit with an uppercut, bro. And on the real back, he was able to just mink. Hit him in the side, bro. That shit crazy. Boom. <sighs> crazy, bro. <clears throat> you see Marco there stunned. <gasps> stunned up. 
Fabricio falls down, falls to his knees, bro. Boom! Down! Fabricio's down for a second time. This one looks like it's done some damage. <laughs> what was that? Four, five, and we see. Was that old man? And we see Fabrizio and Marco look on. Was that old man always this strong? Yes, dude, he's buff. But it's still not enough. We see Fabrizio gets up. You still won't stand a chance against him. And we see the fucking dark black and red silhouette of the eye of the demon. Of that boy you in the background. Six. You're gonna die. I just know it. <sighs> when I when I just debuted as a pro boxer, and when you were about to retire, when my brother and I were struggling to pay our hot our mother's hospital expenses, we met in we met you for the first time in the ring. Let me see. Fabri oh Fabricio looking on the J. Boxing is an awful sport. There's only one goal, which is to beat one's opponent senseless. To do that, one must grit one's teeth and work one's fingers to the bone. The hours of practice one must put in is enough to make giving up, getting up in the morning terrifying, excuse me. The weight of loss is severe. And from morning till night, over and over again, one must be driven by a frenzied tenacity to destroy one's opponent. The accumulation of all the simmers to get all, all this simmers together, erupting in the match. But for some reason, I felt like I was being consoled. Yes, that is your life. And we see, as he's fighting that boy Jay the first time, we see Fabrice having flashbacks to his to his life and shit as a kid, mom being sick. Him as a little boxer, all this. That is what boxing means to you. Let me see that boy, that boy, little Fabricio crying, sobbing. Damn. And we see that's so crazy. As Fabricio's thinking about this, bro, we get a clinch in the match. So it looks like he's getting a hug from that boy Jay, bro. Break! Get off! Huh? I will never send you to him. And we see. And I really like that it's a situation that I previously thought, right, that it was just a respect thing that Fabrice was like, hey, bro, you're a, a really beloved, famous boxer. Like, you, everybody fucks with you, right? I ain't gonna have you go fight you. It's dangerous. But now we find out it's deeper than that because they had already had a match and Fabrice had felt something in their boxing match that he had not felt elsewhere, right? So I really like that it's a personal thing where he's like, hey, bro, I cannot send you to him, bro. I really like that. You see, Jay. I see Fabricio. Box. You see, bam. You see, oh, my God. So as soon as they start, bro, they start the match again. Fabricio goes for like a left hook. We see Jay. Boom. Quick little jab. Bam. He goes, huh? Bam, bam. Another quick jab. Two piece. Bam, again. Three pieces quickly, bro. Fabricio walks back stunned. Marco, Bob looking on. Huh? Bam! Jay again. Bam, bam! Yo, he's piecing him up, bro. Like, he... It's it's like he realized that Fabricio ain't gonna really go down without, without really a serious fight. So he might have went serious, bro. Because we see him really with the quick jabs and Fabricio cannot react, bro. He cannot react. K perks up, huh? I put in I put it on the back burner because it wasn't a, a major risk factor. But as I was preparing for the match with Jay, a question kept running through my mind. How did he have zero habits? Even Jean Pierre had a few minor ones. But I really couldn't find an iota of a habit in him. Is that even humanly possible? You see, this, this goes beyond anything anyone can imagine. 
and we see this man sees the sky it, with a with a huge like stars everywhere, bro. We see Jay's eyes fucking open, glow. <laughs> Fabrizio starts laughing. Huh? What's going on? Everyone in the crowd. Fabrizio stopped the match. It looks like he's having a discussion with the referee. Oh, we've got some news. Something unbelievable has happened, folks. Fabrizio has stopped the match. Fabrizio voluntarily threw in the towel. What in the world could have happened inside that ring? Ding, ding, ding. And we see Jay has won. You probably don't understand what you're seeing. Be very afraid, K. Whoa. That's crazy, bro. So even Bob is like in, in, the, in the skybox. He's like, hey, bro, you don't know what you're seeing. K, you better be afraid, bro, because it ain't going to go your way, bro. This is very interesting, dude. For the god of boxing is coming to meet your boxer. Holy shit. <laughs> you see, this man K. Crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Alright, let's keep going here, bro. Ah, everyone cheers. Middleweight champion, you. It's finally time for us to meet in the ring. Let me see, you looks on. I'll be looking forward to the match. Boy. Jay wins the World Middleweight Interim Championship title. We see that boy Jay looking on. Did you see that they set a date for the match? I wonder what kind of game they'll show us this time. How could you, how could he, how could he win you? Look at the difference in their careers. What are you calling, G calling what Jay did a career? Ah, you watch boxing too? Oh, you you do too? Yeah, I think Jay might win this one. No way in hell. <laughs> you never know, man. Why else do you think Santorino is suddenly doing the match? There's definitely something to Jay. All right. Prepare the interview questions. Set a time and date. Contract the departments to... Contract the other departments too, excuse me. Get me a draft by 5 p.m. You see... My bro Peter looking on. I wonder what kind of match it'll be. Question, what is boxing to you? Dodging and hitting? <laughs> you look on, huh? Whew. Interviewing you was no joke. All his answers were so terse. Well, every one of Kay's boxers seems to lack something. That's especially true for you. Being the greatest boxer of all time is certainly quite an achievement. But will he be okay as a human being? That's the question, bro. Who knows? But we, th but there's nothing we need to worry about. That's true. Jay. Unlike in his previous matches, he was solely focused on winning... He was solely focused on winning in this past interim title match. Why does he want to meet you so badly? I wonder. Let me see. Boom! We see hitting the bags, hitting the, I mean, the, the mitts or whatever. The pads. We see, boom, knocks his whole hand back. Boom! Coach? Ah! Oof! Call an ambulance. You see, a man broke his arm, bro. Crazy. God damn, that motherfucker, you dangerous, bro. That motherfucker, you dangerous, bro. International Hospital. Beep. 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 And we see that motherfucking Aaron still in the coma. Every morning when I wake up, I still wish this was all just a dream. I'm determined to stay strong, but in but the pain in my heart is so great. What does the future hold for us? Will you stay living like this forever? From now on. From now on. And we just see her sitting at Aaron's bedside, bro. Hurtful, man. Lastly, we'd like to hear a word from each side about the upcoming match. We'll first hear from you. We'll first hear from you first. I'll answer for him. Everyone seems to be oddly invested in this match because it looks like a legendary boxer free from the constraints of victory and defeat is challenging the current strongest fighter. 
Do you really think he'll show you some trite, meaningful thing in this match too? Let me be clear. This match is going to be the most brutal and meaningless fight in the history of boxing. I've accomplished everything I've set out to achieve. Got it? Fighting him isn't a matter of winning or losing. It's for my personal enjoyment. It's about getting the trophy I rightfully deserve. Uh, 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 all right then. Next up is Jay. During my interviews, I've always said I look forward to a good, fair match. But this time, I have a bit of a different statement, Jay says. I'm going to win this fight. K is no match for me. That is all. Oh, that boy Jay got some aura. He said, hey, bro. I'm going to win this shit, bro. It's going to be me. Me only. And that motherfucker K over there, he ain't no match for me, bro. Whatever he comes with, it's over. My dog, for real. That is all. Pictures, flashes everywhere. Boy, hold up. Are you really going to go up against him? You already know how good he is without telling me, without me telling you, right? You came out of retirement so unexpectedly. What in the world are you thinking? And we see, he gonna remember that kid, boy. And we see you in his crib, holding his little cat. Oh man, what do you think the universe is? Maybe it's an unimaginably harsh and colossal space of death. Impossible to strive in with just a naked body, save for a few seconds. Hmm, maybe all of us are wandering aimlessly within the confines of death. I feel a deep sadness when I think about that. I wonder why the world we live in is in this state. What is the meaning of existence? Don't tell me the fucking cat is passing away, bro. Can we see the cat is like breathing heavy? The cat's eyes are... Do not say this, bro. Did this nigga... Don't tell me Kay killed the cat, bro. To get you in a rage. Don't tell me this, bro. He's like heaving, gasping. He's trembling. Where... What the fuck, bro? What is the meaning of this existence? Where are we all headed? What is the meaning of life? And the cat passed away. No! You see, you just looks on. Human. You. And me. Do we all exist just to exist? Or is there some other meaning to our existence? And we see a little... A little baby you, bruh. Flashback you. Back to when he was a... Back to when he was a street rat, bruh. Street rat. You see a picture of a drawing. Bro, what the fuck, dude? Like, what the heck? We see a picture of a drawing. We see some, like, crazy red eyes. We see someone with, like, long grayish hair. We see the cat. And we see this, like, room... Locked down and on like but like under like I mean at the bottom of like a, a stairwell. We see a little you crying. The boy with no name. Oh my god. Is this gonna be you's actual backstory? Oh my god. Warning. This episode contains depictions of abuse and content that may be upsetting for some readers. Oh my goodness, let's go, man crazy the basement a place where no one's voice can reach out and not a speck of sunlight enters we see the basement locked and shit damn we see a little tv this person oh it's his mom so his mom gives birth in this basement or whatever ah! let me see on the tv a wedding on the tv Ugh. amid the fear and madness a boy was born, and we see 
Little baby you trembles. Mom picks him up. He grabs her little finger. And she... Human. Humans are born into the world. Each takes their own path and learns the learns of the world. Mother and father. Ego. Joy. Sadness. Dreams. Despair. Freedom and responsibility. Beauty. Ugliness. The end. Yo, see laddie, what up, bro? The end. And the beginning. You see all facets of life as they walk on the road to their own path. And life was also and life was also given. Oh shit. To this boy. You see door opens. Oh my god, what the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck is that? We see something open the door to this basement, bro. And it's just a giant, like, yeti monster with, like, red eyes? The fuck is this, bro? This is the boy's world. And you see this red-eyed, like, fucking yeti, bro. How did the boy stay alive for so long? Merely because he was lucky? Or perhaps because the boy's father had a shred of humanity left. His tears had long since dried up, or perhaps it was due to the talent that was slowly blooming inside of him. Let me see. Oh, okay, he just see, it's just his fucking shitty dad. He sees him as this Yeti monster. We see the silhouette is a monster in the back, but it's actually just a person. Or maybe, his father just needed a puppet to take his anger out on. Whatever the reason, through the boy wished for death over and over again, he could not die. He's just watching this fucking little TV, bro. As d d d d dad fucking puts his hand up and just bing, starts hitting that boy, you, bro. Even in the world of, even in this world of unhappiness and pain. The boy's life was not extinguished. And at some point, the boy's inner self quit living. And we see the mom trying to trying to stop the fucking dad. He don't give a fuck. He beating her up too. It's, it's bad, bro. The boy no longer cried. All what that was all. S because since his birth, that's the only way he'd been treated by others. He wasn't resentful or sad, really. That was all he knew. That was just his life. Yes, that was all. Let me see. As the TV starts hissing, turning off and shit, bro. This is so tragic, bro. See, boiling the food. Mom, instant noodles. Let me see, makes food for the moms. And she takes the noodles and throws the shit, boom, right at the wall, bro. Why is she being like this, bro, the moms? Why? Why do I? Why do I have to? You have to eat well. And she's fucking sobbing. Or you'll be hungry, you says. Yes, that was all. And you eating. This is so tragic, bro. This is hurting my soul, bro. You... Just eating the noodles at the, at the at the table. Just eating the noodles. We see on the T and dang, this TV has a shot. I I noticed earlier that the TV had a picture of like a, a what was like a panel of you we seen earlier. Now we see on the TV, it's a shot of Aaron and his family on the TV next to the mom sobbing. He eats the noodles. He thinks back to eating with Carmen. The kid in the basement. Eating. Mold on the walls. A ba a bathroom with a foul stench. Bottles of alcohol rolling around. A blinking light bulb and an old television. Father, mother, 
and the boy who had lived for 60,240 hours, a 344 square foot room, this is the boy's world. Then one day, clatter, huh? an alien life form huh? entered the boy's world. <gasps> the cat, oh my God. And we'll see, meow. And the cat's there in the, in the, this was the same cat, bro. This, if this was the same cat he's had the whole time, I'm gonna be so sad. If, bro, we know that cat just passed away, bro. God, bro, please don't let it be that K did something to the cat, bro. I will never forgive him. Bro, this backstory is gonna be so sad, bro. So sad, dude. Oh, but I can't wait to learn. <laughs> Like, more, obviously, see more with you and the cat, learn their bond. And I also want to see the moment he runs away, I guess, or something happens, and he meets Jay in the street. That's what I really want to revisit again, bro. That is going to be so sick. But yeah, bro, this backstory is so fucking tragic, man. Took us a minute to get here, though, but we're at the backstory, man. We're here. It's absolutely fucking crazy, bro absolutely crazy but yeah if you made it to end the live reaction i have appreciate y'all so much if you enjoyed don't forget drop a like in the video hit the boy out and also subscribe to the channel because we're bringing different live reactions every single week you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna see y'all next time stay safe out in these are streets and i'm gonna see y'all soon peace